Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to move Thunderbird from one computer to another one. This should also work on PC as well. I'm using the latest version of Thunderbird, which is Alex version 102. So if you're using the newest version, this should work for you. So all you need is a key pen, 16 gigabytes or more will do nicely. It's quite simple really, I'm going to copy one folder from the old computer, which is the Thunderbird profile, then I'm going to paste it into the new computer's Thunderbird profile, then run a simple import, and that's, it really is that simple guys, so uh, stick around to the end of the video, and hopefully we get all your files imported, but you'll also need your Thunderbird email passwords as well, as the system copies the files across and all your shortcuts, but you have to put in your passwords once it's imported to the new system. Alright then, let's go! Before you begin, make sure you're using the latest version of Thunderbird, so go to Thunderbird, About Thunderbird. If there's any updates, it should tell you here. I'm using version 102.3, so it should work pretty well if you're using version 100 or newer. Go up to Tools, Export. If you've got a lot of emails, this 2 gig limit will be annoying, so the best way to do it is go Open Profile Folder. So this is our profile folder that we want, and all we're going to do is copy this to a key pen. So what we're going to do is right click, copy, onto the key pen, right click and paste. And it may take a good few minutes. And once the folder's copied across, you can close that. All we need to do now is close the windows and eject the drive and we are done on this computer. Plug in your key pen to the new system. Just double click it so that's open and ready. Then we want to go open Thunderbird. What we're going to do is pretty much the same as we did before. We're just going to go Tools, going to get an Export. This will make sense in a moment. Open Profile Folder. So just close the tab. And then I quit Thunderbird. So that's our Profile Folder. Then all I'm going to do is, here's our new one. Copy this. Paste it into our Profiles folder. Again, it'll take a few minutes because it's quite a large file. And now here's our original one that was on the USB. We're going to close that, eject the disk. All right, that's gone. So here is our new profile. All I need to do now is double click this folder, press Command A to select everything, Command C to copy, go back up a level, double click this. This is the default one. And then I'm just going to do Command V to paste. If it actually replace, replace everything. Minimize that, load up Thunderbird, go to Tools, Import, Import from another Thunderbird installation, press Continue, Input from Profile Default, press Continue, and then just make sure everything's selected, press Continue, Start Import. Okay, and this may take it a moment because it's bringing in all the data to Thunderbird and then it will restart once it's done. Boom, so we just go finish, Thunderbird will restart and here we go. The only downside is it's probably going to ask you for all your email passwords but as I can see there, all my data is there, all my accounts are there which is fantastic so I've just got to find these settings and add them and then we're good to go. And for a little bit of housekeeping, don't forget to delete the profile you uh, brought off from the key pen. It just makes it easier in the future so I'm just going to delete that. So that is now going to become our default profile for Thunderbird and then we haven't got any extras to confuse us. Close that, fill in your passwords for your emails, happy days, you're good to go. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe. If you didn't like it, well, hit that dislike twice. Leave a comment below if you found it useful. All right, I'll see you on the next one.